Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Today Show. Now, we are exactly three weeks away from the much awaited Islam Channel Business Awards. Yes, we will be playing host to high flyers in the global business community on the 18th of November. Here is the Business Awards category that we are showcasing today. The five nominees for this category are Stroll, Unique, Yielders, CPIC, and Ghazi Investments. And joining us tonight is one of the finalists for the Real Estate Business of the Year Award. A very warm welcome to the group CEO of Ghazi Investments, Saqib Rafiq Chaudhary. Assalamu alaikum, Saqib, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam. Not really well, otherwise I would have been uh, your studio. Uh, but due to poor health, I couldn't come. But anyhow, I'm lucky to have uh, this opportunity that at least we are connecting here via Zoom. Excellent. No, but uh, so uh, well, we're very happy. We do wish you a quick recovery, inshallah. And um, hopefully it's... Hopefully you recover in time for the business award. I know it's three weeks away, but you've got enough time. Inshallah, <laughs> I will, inshallah. I hear that you have been nominated for two categories. Yeah, so we are lucky and uh, I'm surprised, but I, it's, it's really good luck for us. We've been nominated for two different categories. So one is the Real Estate Business Award and the other one is Professional is the, Services. Uh, professional services of that is an achievement and a half well what does how how are you feeling about being nominated for two awards uh, first of all i would like to appreciate the efforts and the kind work you guys are doing it's amazing work people ask me what is the actually purpose of these awards and i say look these awards give us an opportunity to connect with other businesses as well as this one it is not an advertisement segment but it gives us an opportunity to reach out to millions of clients people know us it's kind of a recognition so uh, first of all hats off to islam channel and you guys uh, and i think uh, it's a great opportunity for us to express our feelings uh, what we feel about our business, how we created the business, how we're running it, uh, and how important our clients are. So, yeah, of course, it's all happy news. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I really love the positive vibe right there. And, you know, talking about your business, how did the journey start for you? Well, uh, Kazi Investment started from a very uh, small and very humble background. We started with uh, two staff members, just two employees. Uh, it was an office uh, based in Peterborough. Actually, our old office is still in Peterborough. And it was just two, two of us. And today, Kazi Investment has office in Spain. We have office in Pakistan. Uh, actually, in seven uh, different uh, places in Pakistan, we have office here in the UK. Uh, we also operate through our associate members uh, from more than 10 other locations across the world. So yeah, Alhamdulillah, uh, Kazi Investment has uh, achieved a lot in last nine years. Journey's been great. I myself was traveling. I don't travel that much now, but at, at a time I used to uh, be hardly in, in the UK. I was always arranging these property events and uh, always traveling one country to the other. So this truly is the Business Awards, really getting all the international businesses together um, in, one in one platform on one night. And why do you think that your business actually is worth being nominated? And, and inshallah, you know, we make the war for all the nominees, of course, but why should you be chosen uh, to win Amazing these question, amazing question. This was a question which was asked by one of the judges as well when I came, a panelist. When I came to see them, they asked me not many questions, but they specifically, I remember this question. Uh, and my answer was very simple. Business is all about innovation. Being an MBA from the UK, I believe entrepreneurship is uh, something that we sometimes consider just as a business. However, an entrepreneur is being, uh, bringing about new ideas. If everybody else is doing the same business and you just start copying to them, uh, then there's no point. We actually started Kazi Investment at a time when nobody else was actually thinking that the overseas Pakistanis across the world would like to invest in Pakistan, would like to buy real estate uh, 
uh, properties in Pakistan. And not only that we started in a new area, but also we started bringing new ideas. Now, uh, I don't want to mention any other company. However, most of the companies are now following our footprints. I mean, we started worldwide events. We started open events. We started uh, uh, global exhibitions. We started roadshows. We started going to the masjid committees and talking to them about Pakistan and real estate. So I think that's it's all about innovation. And yes, the biggest reason is we always keep our clients first. We don't pick any project and start selling it unless we are aware and our customers can tell better than me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've, you've mentioned some of really major accomplishments there. Or And do you have any more that you'd love to share with us? Of course. I mean, one of, one of the biggest reasons why people... Uh, consider cause investment we already won a lot, a lot of awards from other places i don't want to mention them here but the biggest reason people always consider is the Kazi investment always keep their commitments. We don't sell something that we don't want to buy for mm -hmm. ourselves. We always mm -hmm. uh, bring the projects which are approved by the government. We always bring new ideas in real estate and always we are marketing our projects positively. We always respect our, ex uh, our other competitors. And one of the biggest examples for that is it's just not something I am saying that we give respect to our competitors. We actually give them opportunity we actually give them the platform to come on board for example we were in the real estate business however we organized the first pakistan property expo 2016 in london excel and 2017 in london uh, in uh, olympia london and we uh, we provided the opportunity to hundreds of our competitors to come and have a have a uh, i mean uh, taste of the uh, taster of the market and we provided them the platform to come and meet hundreds of other overseas uh, mm -hmm. pakistani it's very hard for a business to do that but i think this is the major reason that kazi investment always believe in partnerships instead of just competition Com healthy competition there's nothing wrong with that healthy competition is great but at the same time respecting your competitors i mean whoever wants this award i do respect all the other uh, uh, i mean nominees and i believe mm -hmm. that all of them if they've been nominated there would be a reason and there would be a list of mm -hmm. achievements that you guys have considered yeah, absolutely. I mean, that really is an accomplishment to be working with your competitors. You don't hear that often, actually. And so what have been some of your challenges that you've faced? The biggest challenge is, is working uh, with the Pakistani properties itself. That is the biggest challenge itself. Selling Dubai, selling Turkey or selling UK property is very different. Uh, the legislation is very clear. The property market is uh, trustworthy. The system is there. The registry system is there. And uh, there's not such fraud. And uh, there are some, but as compared to Pakistan, uh, there are very strict rules and regulations. Working with the Pakistani real estate sector and with the Pakistani developers can be very challenging. Uh, and it was a challenge. And that was my biggest challenge uh, from day one. Uh, selling is not a problem for me. Selling is not a problem for our team. Uh, and also uh, selling to the overseas Pakistanis is easy because overseas Pakistanis, they love Pakistan. Mm. But the biggest challenge from day one is uh, that who can you trust uh, if it comes to the real estate in Pakistan? Yeah, and so uh, what are, I mean, we're just running out of time and it's a very, a very, very important points that you did make about uh, just investing abroad as well. But those who are, you, we mentioned competitors, but those who want to follow in your footsteps, who are just starting, what tips can you give to any budding entrepreneurs like yourself? First of all, I would just say, believe in yourself. If you don't believe that you can do it, a lot of people say this, I've heard this so many times, but I still hear it every day. I still open uh, my mentors' speeches and I any, any day that I feel I can't do it, such as today, I was down with COVID. I thought I can't go to this program. I rang the program organizer and requested, uh, can I do it online? So it's all about believing yourself, believe that I can do it you can do it. And also, I would say it's very important that you keep your uh, principle, your design principle, your values above anything else. Oh, wow. Fantastic advice there, Brother Saqib. Well, Jazakallah Khair for attending, especially you being ill. We do wish you all the best with your recovery you. and, of course, for the awards as well, for two of them. And thank you very much. Thank you very much thank for your time. You.
And of course, we wish all the nominees of this category the very best. Well, it's now time for the issue of Zion, but don't go anywhere. We will be right back with lots more on the Today Show.